Welcome to FM22 Save Idea. So you fancy loading up a game of Football Manager, but you're not quite sure who to take charge of. Well, hopefully, this series might inspire you as we bring you stories of clubs that might just be your next FM22 adventure. This week, we're in Spain. Let's check out our first option. Andalusia in southern Spain is home to two of La Liga's oldest and best supported clubs. But whilst the club bearing the city's name is basking in the glow of a mammoth hall of trophies over recent seasons, Real Betis Palompi offer FM22 players the opportunity to guide a Seville-based club to continental glory. Founded in 1908, Betis are a club with a proud history but without the silverware of their city rivals. A solitary league title and two Copa del Reyes is a meagre return for a club with such a huge support. But current boss Manuel Pellegrini is turning the ship around. Last season's sixth place finish has qualified Betis for the Europa League, ready for you to take over in FM22. Imagine European nights in front of 60,000 fans and getting to work supplementing what is already a talented squad. This is a club that has produced its own icons and paid world record transfer fees and contests one of the most passionate derbies in all of Spain. But FM22 is an opportunity to take a club of unquestionable potential and turn them into title challengers. Could you guide Betis to their second league title or equal the European success of their rivals? This is a club right for you to build a football manager legacy at. So Betis are a club offering you European football from the outset, but maybe you fancy a bit more of a longer term challenge, but staying in the top flight. Well, if we search the Madrid clubs, there might be a club that's at the heart of its community, just waiting for you to take over as their manager. Spain's capital is home to two of Europe's most prestigious clubs. But whilst Real and Atletico are both clubs from the city, Rayo Vallecano drew their support from the Madrid Barrio of Vallecas. In this part of town, the red sashes are adored, and whilst their rivals have a global appeal, Vallecano's significance is rooted in the club's role in the community. Rayo fans are not afraid to take on the authorities, and the club is famed for promoting social causes. The fans have helped shape the identity of the club and are not shy to protest when they feel the club has lost sight of its values. And led by the Ultras group Los Bocanero, Vallecano's fans have developed a reputation for challenging fascism and fighting against the commercialism that exploits supporters. The origins of these ideals lie in Vallecas' history as a radical left-wing neighbourhood in Madrid. But it was strengthened by the story of the late Wilfred Agbonavbare. The Nigerian goalkeeper played for Rayo in the 1990s when he was subjected to frequent racist abuse during games. This prompted Los Bocaneros to publish a mission statement outlining their intent to fight against discrimination in Spanish football. Rayo's association with the Nigerian keeper continued after his retirement when he was diagnosed with a terminal illness. Unable to afford to fly to Spain to visit their father, the Bucaneros raised the funds to fly Agbon of Barre's children to the country to visit their father one last time. Los Bucaneros are active in the local community and this has transmitted to how the club operates, with the playing staff helping raise money for local causes, such as the elderly Rayo fan that was evicted from her home. This is a club that is intrinsic to the community it represents where fans take players on a tour of the neighbourhood to introduce them to the community. Rayo may have never won a major honour, but to their fans, the link between the club and the community is more important than trophies. But just imagine the satisfaction of securing a first piece of silverware for this newly promoted club. Could this be the adventure you embark on in FM22? Viacano offer a great challenge, but maybe you want something in a slightly lower division. Maybe a sleeping giant that requires your managerial skills to rebuild them to their former glories, while Spain has just such an outfit. And so to our final club and the city of A Coruña in northwestern Spain. Here we find Deportivo La Coruña, a club that has experienced heartbreak, joy and demise and currently find themselves in Spain's third tier. Founded in 1906, the most eventful periods in the club's history have been crammed into the last three decades. First, the heartbreak. Opportunities for smaller clubs to secure trophies in Spain are few, 
with the behemoths from Madrid and Barcelona so difficult to depose. When an opportunity to win the league comes along, it has to be taken for fear that a second chance may never materialise. In 1994, Depor had their opportunity. Topping the table going into the final round of games, Depor just had to better Barcelona's result to be champions. They took on Valencia at their home ground but found them stubborn opponents. With Barcelona leading in their game, it looked as though Deportivo's dream was fading with their match goalless. Then, a lifeline. Late in the game, they were awarded a penalty. So Miroslav Djukic stepped forward. But Djukic placed his kick tamely into the keeper's arms and Barca stole the title. For supporters, this was a painful pill to swallow. But regret turned to joy in the year 2000. Fate transpired that going into the final round of games, Depor and Barca were once again the two clubs competing for the title. But this time, Deportivo banished the demons of 1994 by winning the game 2-0 and claiming a first league title. But then, there was the demise. After winning the league title, Depor won a Copa del Rey and reached a Champions League semi-final. But then they fell from grace, first bouncing between the top two divisions before suffering relegation to the third tier in 2020. And FM22 will see the club that were once champions of Spain spend another season in the doldrums. But is this where you enter the fray? Can you climb the leagues and restore Deportivo to the top division before building a squad once more capable of challenging for honours? So there's three Spanish clubs that might inspire your next football manager adventure, but we're going to move on to another country in our pursuit of FM22 Save Ideas.